Well, hey everyone. Hello and welcome. Back to a game about murder. Unfortunately, this time, um, we're not the ones doing the murdering. Uh, but we are very much the ones getting, well, I mean, we done got murdered. And so we're investigating said occurrence. That's where the demons are. We don't want to walk on that. There's a kitty, 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 kitty. We're following this girl in a non-creepy way. There she is, finally. Why do I always lose my keys when I need to leave? How can I get through to her? Um, excellent question. Need to figure out what the witness knows. Why well, I can just possess her. Okay. Well, we don't want to beef that up. Uh, cause that's a thing we can do. Whoop. Uh, three more. They are doing good with the souls. What is that, a jigsaw? No. A hax? No. A seesaw? I don't know my saws. Handsaw? Is it just a handsaw? Might just be a handsaw. That might be all it is. All it is. Um. Uh, okay. Well, um, there doesn't seem to be anything to interact with, so. Oh, what would make her think about the bell killer? Whoa, you whoa, no whoa, whoa, right whoa. To dump your unfinished Hold on. on me. Now, I'm tracking down my killer, okay? Someone who was seconds away from attacking you about an hour ago, and if... Wait a minute. You, you can see me? And hear me? <gasps> Holy sh... Hang on a second. We got a couple things we got to adjust here. Okay, that's where we want it. However, little glimpse behind the scenes here. Uh, sometimes when you're updating something, pause. Um, then your audio gets fung diggly. Shit, you're a medium. <laughs> well, I ain't I the luckiest guy in the world. I just found the perfect little helper. What is it with you guys and my family? Helping the cops do their job is not some, some privilege. It's a trap. I'm not your informant, your partner, or your friend. I don't owe you anything. You owe me. Dick. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. You're tough, okay? But you're not tougher than him. You saw what he can do. He's coming after you or someone close to you. Whoever he wants dead is lucky to still be alive. Now, I know what I'm doing, and you can help me stop him. All you have to do is answer some questions. Look, I'm sorry. What happened to you was horrible. And you... You saved my life, so... What do you want? Uh, well, about a billion things. I was murdered tracking that son of a bitch to your place. So why would he be looking for you? That freak was probably looking for my mom. Not me. I, I'm a nobody. Invisible. My mom and I tried very hard to keep it that way. Not everybody wants to be noticed, you know. for your mom. 
What does that mean? She's like me, but she found a way to make a respectable living off of what we can do. Living that probably turned her into a target. Have you ever seen my killer before tonight? He's you your father. I idea who he is. You cops are so hard up on clues that you're actually asking people if they know who the killer is? Now I get why you need so much help. I'm not asking people. I'm asking the witness whose life I just saved. So where's your mom, kid? Probably... dead. She would never just leave me without saying a word, never. I don't know where she is. I know the bell killer had something to do with her disappearance. Him showing up tonight just proves it. If he killed her, why would he come back to her place? Hmm. I don't know. Liar. Look, assuming the worst never helped. Because he's your father. Isn't it? Respectable living? Yeah. Hey, you might know her. She was working the Bell Killer case with the cops as a contract psychic, a profiler. Sorry, kid. She didn't ring any bells. I found this in the apartment tonight. Mentioned something about some Bell Killer book, and it's in her handwriting. Bell Killer book? If she was a profiler, it's probably the book she kept all her case notes in. That would be at the station. Really? I'm telling you, I'm um, out of here soon. Why don't you live there? Because of people like you, always asking for help. Trying to connect one last time with your loved ones or, or resolve some crazy problem. I love my mom, but I can't live in one place for too long or people like you will find me too easily. I wasn't home much either growing up. I know that's rough. Thought you were gonna ask me something. All right, all right. What were you doing at your apartment? I live there, Sherlock. Well, I used to, whatever. My mother has been missing for a few days. I, I don't see her that often, but she never just disappears. Not like this. You're not safe alone. You need someone watching over you. Us cops find missing people. I found you, and I can help you find your mom. Your problem is now my problem, too. <laughs> no way. Uh, don't get me wrong. You saved my life, and... Okay, I can't pay that back, but... Your problems are your problems, and mine are mine. There they are. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Have a nice afterlife. Wait, wait a minute! Don't go yet! Just stop for a second, will you? We're on the same side. If your mother's involved, we need to work together. Work together? What are you gonna do? You're dead! I'll handle it. Just leave me alone! I bet she knows more. How is powerful Scream a clue? Away. There's gotta be another way down. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I don't want to go down through the air. What's it get? Well, the window's closed. I'm guessing it's still the cat, though. Uh huh. Out the window. Jeez. Jeepers, creepers, man. What am I worried about? Nothing is gonna happen. Um. Where's the elevator come out again? 
Right there. Nope. Just right here. Three. Two, one. Two, one. Wait! Come back! Ah, crap. Leaving so soon, dear? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, my child. No, 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 no. Walk back through. I need help through. Oh, yeah. Finally being, doing the whole poltergeist thing pans out. When she calms down, I'll go ask her why she needs to stay here. See ya. Again, it doesn't seem super right that there's uh, demons hunting, floating, floating around. Uh, some objects can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention, allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Using the ravens to distract the demons is often useful. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Distract the demons. Must approach a demon from behind. Right. Come on, come on back. Come on back there, girl. Just call me Dean Winchester. Or Sam. I guess Sam could kind of do it with his mind. Damn it. Now what? Jeez. So, where'd she go, huh? What's up, pussy cat? Uh, what clue would tell me where she's headed next? The note. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. All right, we're headed to yeah. some sort of station. Oh, police station. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. <sighs> Did you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine, don't tell me. Puss. <sighs> to be fair, we possess that cat a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if the cat doesn't want anything to do with this either. Oh, back to the station. That's a ways away, though. Yeah, I guess uh, having it just take us there on our own was kind of wishful thinking. And I'm guessing we're going to bump into a bunch of lost souls and people needing help and everything else along the way. Seems to be how it works. And I can't even... I can't climb over shit? Like, what is... What the lazy ghost, man? The I'd accuse my boss of witchcraft in a heartbeat. People in this town are a little messed up. 
Uh, was there a way to get through things? Oh, okay. I guess I can just... Mm, but then I can't go through any of these, so this is not... Ooh. Uh, she had so much potential. This is a terrible shock, especially now. She had been accepted to Smith College and was all prepared to move. I... Okay. I don't really get what that's supposed to mean, but... Uh, was there something back here? Ugh, not really. I probably... There was probably something, right? Did I pick something up back there? Probably at some point. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, rough day at work for my man. Took a while for him to be able to talk about it, but this Baxter fellow really seems to be completely hostile towards Ronan. There's nothing he can do about it. And there's nothing he can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan has never done anything to offend him. But Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was, and there's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. Today, everything died for me. That's rough. Thinking about it is so surreal. I instantly have an out-of-body experience every time seeing myself at that moment. She tried to break up an argument between two men on the street. Two strangers to her. Two strangers to her. Uh, one of which would stab her for no reason at all. She died for trying to help. And that asshole got away. If I'd arrived to meet her just one minute earlier, my life would have been different. Better. And she wouldn't have been gone. It's a little redundant. I mean, you know, we get it. We get why it would be better. Face it. Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter? He isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but... You don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. Oh, I'm calling it right now. Baxter had something to do with it. Absolutely. Cops wonder if Bas Baxter hated him... Hated Ronan enough to kill him. I'm pretty sure he did. Well, it could just be, like, a red herring to throw us off, but... I get the impression that, uh, yeah, that he did Lord, it. Nothing happens here. How much does a tattoo hurt? Cop was, like, covered. Uh, just hurts just the right amount. be away from the big city with all its problems. So quiet. Such a sleepy town. I mean, there was just a murder. But, uh, you know. Guess that doesn't mean anything. What's that game? The one with the woman who raids tombs. Oh yeah. Um, could it be Tomb Raider? Idiot. Some people are so stupid. I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. Oh my poor, poor brother. He feels guilt for leading me into a life of police work. Well, he should, because guess what? Ugh, I'm dead. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan had all the bad boy swagger, and I admit I liked it. But what I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. Yeah... Oh, got some soft spots. Especially for Julia. Uh, Salem police have still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Community speculation is increasing that it is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the consistent thread is the strange bell-shaped symbol found on many of the crime scenes. No one has even the remotest theory, remotest theory on the meaning of the symbol. But this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. Because he really likes Taco Bell. It's like his favorite or something. 
I think we screwed up the thing with the saws. I don't think we found everything we were supposed to. Ronan's parents really sound uh, unstable. It must have been really difficult for him growing up and feeling pressure to follow the unstable criminal paths his parents walked. And now he's my diamond in the rough. Such a sweet, such a sweet soul. Uh, and strong enough to keep its sweetness with everything his parents put him through. It's rare someone with legitimate reason to be frustrated with his parents and the way they raised him never once complained about it. He's such a better person than anyone realizes. Yeah, he's so nice. Or he was. Or he was murdered. Uh, she would never kill herself. She was happy with her life. Had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. They must have. So, it seems like the bell killer is, is kind of like a revenge thing. The victim was hanged from the ceiling fan. Possible suicide, but no, no. Bell symbol raises possibility of murder. Murder. The Ashland Hill Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent Parishian settlers of that state that I can't say, Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery significantly, one of which gave the cemetery its name in 1665. A shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery, waiting to die. Once they did, their bodies were burned and their ashes buried. And the graveyard was henceforth known as Ashland Hills. All right, so that building's on fire. Ghost. I can't believe this. Ghostly. <laughs> Rough breakup. He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Oh, jeez. Right. I'll look into it. You're not gonna like what you find out, girl. Uh, I wanna read your mind first. I can't. I still don't know why she killed herself. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is... If she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. be a friend. She never anticipated this. I think that's everything we need to know. Um, I mean, all three seem relevant. Nope. Apparently not. Oh, the order is important. Okay. It seems this was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. 
Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. You're quite welcome. Oh, look, I helped her move on. To the other side. All right. Now, can we get to the police station without having to help anyone else? I mean, we don't have to help anyone, but look at us. We're a good person. Ah, yeah, crap. Oh, what? Wait, why are you ghostly? It's my brother and the other guy. Maybe it's just like a memory? Today, he asked, and I honestly don't know what to say. I want to be with him. I love him. But when he asked me to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything, like my voice was frozen. And he just knelt there, my silence crushing him. And then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think. But have I blown it now? I don't know what I would do. I would probably start crying. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah... That's rough. That is rough. Uh, we'll go that way later. There's so many things to find, man. So many. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place. The kind of place where you can escape the problems of the big city, but it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night. Anymore. Here. Anymore. I talked with Ronan about it. He tries to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in this town, but the bravado doesn't help much. Something is sick about this place. With COVID. Nah, I'm just kidding. Probably monkeypox. Um. So... Where's the police station? Police station is this way. This way, everyone. Are any of these people ghost people? No, I feel like I'm. I feel like I keep missing ghost people. But I don't think I am. The ghost people are the only people I can really talk to. Ah, you're a ghost person. What have I hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, that guy's not a ghost. How's he walking happened. through that wall just now? I don't know. We're out of the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I, uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? All right, you stupid drunk driver. Hmm. Be this rad. Be Brad's car. It's not looking good. That's uh, a douchey license plate. Can't go through, but you seem to have. Is that you? Did you crash through that? You're definitely drunk, moron. Huh. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. Uh, well, where's not far? It's still just showing me the police station. Over this way? Oh, like really not far.
I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Okay. Clues? No, not even close. Maybe if we walk a little faster. Uh, okay. So the train tracks. Things from the past. Yeah. Cap. <laughs> I mean cap. What? Oh. Uh gas station. Yeah, the SOC. Okay, great. What are you doing? You breaking in? Now what? We need to find some more clues. Next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please be doing all three of those, you know? Helps everything, helps me help you, you know? You know, you know? Yeah, you know. And until next time, 